So I want to respond to Saints fans who had a problem with my NFC predictions, right? I predicted that the Saints are going to miss the playoffs. My reasoning for saying the Saints are not going to make the playoffs really doesn't have anything to do with Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers winning a Super Bowl. That's not why I'm saying the Saints are going to miss the playoffs, okay? I actually have a lot of respect for this franchise. You know, Coach Payton is one of the better coaches in the NFL, and this has been a winning franchise for years, okay? This team is always relevant, and that is a difficult thing to do in the National Football League. I just think this year is a unique year. I remember when Tom Brady left the Patriots and I predicted the Patriots would miss the playoffs. Oh my goodness. Patriot fans, you know, blew up my comment section and were upset about that. It was simple. I don't believe you can lose a player like Tom Brady, right? The greatest quarterback of all time, and then just hop along like nothing happened. Okay, I just don't believe that. Tom Brady was there for 20 years and he was a huge part of the culture change. Hey, a huge part, a huge part of all those intangibles we don't see Monday through Saturday. And I was right, the Patriots didn't go to the playoffs. And when I look at the Saints right now, we're not talking about just any quarterback who left the Saints this year. We're not talking about a quarterback, right? We're talking about Drew Brees. Arguably, you know, a top 10 quarterback all time, Many would argue top five all time. There are many who believe he should be the GOAT. Like you're talking about a quarterback here who had multiple seasons with over 5,000 yards. You're talking about a quarterback here who came to a team that was a losing team and a losing franchise. And ever since he got there, turned it into a winning team and a winning franchise. And you can say, well, he was old and washed up and he wasn't really playing that good anymore. Well, all I know is that the Saints offense for the last three years averaged more than 30 points a game. You know how hard that is? As a matter of fact, I believe they're the only team to do it for the last three years in a row. So say what you want about his play, but his offense was scoring points. And when you've been doing your craft for so many years, no matter what you do for a living, when you do it for a long time, you figure little things out. You get little nuggets, right? And it helps you become better at what you do. And that's what Drew Brees had. We saw it with Peyton Manning in the Super Bowl, right? When he was playing with the Broncos and they won a Super Bowl, he wasn't the same Peyton Manning, but he still brought a certain something where he was able to lead the Denver Broncos to win a Super Bowl. And it had to be him. There are other things that a quarterback can bring that have an impact on a team, right? Besides stats. And it's not like his stats were bad. He was missing games, but when he was there, his stats actually weren't bad at all. Drew Brees is a big deal, and losing Drew Brees is a big deal. But it's not just that. It's not just that the Saints lost Drew Brees. They are having so many problems right now. They have several players who are injured. They lost several players to the salary cap, right? And they have a player who's suspended for steroid use, right? PEDs. Okay, let me let me share a list with you. Okay, let me let me name the names of all the players that are gone, injured, or suspended. Okay, Drew Brees gone. Trey Hendrickson, who was the best defender on this team, is gone. Janoris Jenkins, right? A, a, a really really good cornerback. You know, almost still elite. Janoris Jenkins is a really good cornerback. He's gone. Emmanuel Sanders, right? An above average wide receiver, he's gone. Malcolm Brown, the nose tackle, he's gone. Sheldon Rankin's defensive tackle, he's gone. Michael Thomas, arguably one of the best wide receivers in football, delayed his surgery, and now he's going to miss six to eight games of this upcoming season. Traquan Smith, another wide receiver, is dealing with some minor injuries. Adam Trotman, the tight end, the starting tight end, just got an MRI, right? And say what you want. They're saying it's all fine and good to me. When you get an MRI, this is a big deal. David Unimata, which is huge. He is huge. The left defensive tackle, he's serving a six-game suspension, okay? His backup, Jalen Dalton, is now on injured reserve and got hurt in preseason. Ken Crawley, the cornerback who's supposed to take 
your Norris Jenkins spot, right? He's going to be out for a couple of weeks. And now a rookie, Paulson Adebo, is going to take his spot. Malcolm Jenkins is going on his 13th season in the NFL. Cameron Jordan, I believe, is going on either his 10th or 11th season in the NFL. Like this team is dealing with so many problems. Not only did they lose an all time, you know, awesome quarterback in Drew Brees, who brought all those intangibles that are essential in a locker room, who brought all those intangibles that are essential to winning, all that is gone. You have all these other problems. Several players lost because of salary cap, several players who are injured, you know, one player who's serving a suspension. I mean, there are problems all over the place. And then you add on top of all of this, a quarterback problem, right? Is it Jameis Winston or Taysom Hill? And I have a feeling they're going to go with Jameis Winston, which they should. He's been playing better. But let me tell Saints fans what Bucks fans already know. The interceptions he threw last year, that wasn't the first time. If you go look at Jameis Winston's stats from 2015 to 2019, you know what he's averaged in interceptions to touchdown ratios for all those years? 70%. He's been doing it his whole career. Okay. And if you notice, when you look at the stats on the screen, when his yards go up, his turnovers go up. When his yards go down, his turnovers go down. So I don't buy into the notion that Coach Payton's just going to figure this out and they're just going to fix Jameis. I believe he can be better, but keep in mind where he just came from. The team he was the quarterback for just won a Super Bowl. They had Mike Evans. They had Chris Godwin. They had Cameron Bray, Scotty Miller. Like that team was loaded with talent and he couldn't do it there. What's going to be different with New Orleans? The fact that he threw two really cool touchdowns in preseason, that means nothing. Every quarterback looks good right now in the preseason. So when you put all this together, there's just way too many things going on with New Orleans right now. Like I said, I got a lot of respect for Coach Payton. I got a lot of respect for this franchise, but there's just too many things going on. You lost Drew Brees. You lost a ton of players. You have players who are suspended. You have players who are injured. You have players purposely postponing their injuries so they could miss, you know, uh, uh, games in the regular season. You have a quarterback, you know, challenge going on with a quarterback who couldn't do it with a previous team that just won a Super Bowl. Just way too many weird things going on that tell me as great as this team is, as great as this coach is, it's going to take them a minute, a year or two or three to find their bearings and start winning again. It's not going to happen in 2021. Hey, hey, everyone. Thank you for watching SP Sports today. Please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. This way you are notified when we post new videos. Also, if you have a moment, leave a comment and check out our other videos.